we are here with another video and today i want to talk about this green smoothie that i made today because one of my goals that i wanted to set for this new year is to clear my skin so i don't know if a lot of you know or not but i have a lot of blemishes and i have cystic acne or hormonal acne i have something going on and my goal is to figure out what it is that is giving me this acne because it has not gone away and it's been years and i feel like every single year it's a different kind of acne and it just has been getting worse now my goal is to figure out what the hell it is and how i'm gonna fix it if you guys have any recommendations or anything for me to use please share comment because i'm gonna be on this entire acne journey to try and clear my skin to make me feel better because putting on putting makeup on top of my face only does so much so i want to figure out what exactly is going on with my acne maybe it can be something that i'm eating i can be allergic to something or it can be my hormones so i want to give you guys a little backstory about myself last year it's actually going to be a year since I was on birth control, the birth control actually was able to maintain my acne. But I was on birth control for so many years. When I tell you that I started to get depressed, birth control was doing something to me that I knew was not right for my body. And I was like, it's time to get off of it. So I saw birth control last year, February, but it's about to be one whole year since I've been off my birth control and i cannot tell you that my depression and my you know being fatigued or lazy has changed so much but ever since i stopped it my acne has not gotten better i feel like it is really it's at its worst point right now i don't know how much worse it can get but i don't know exactly what it is that is giving me this acne so i did get blood work and i'm not allergic to really anything that i'm eating it's what i normally eat i'm not allergic to anything other than like dust and trees so like basic stuff my blood work came out fine i do want to get checked for my hormone imbalance because i believe that my acne has a lot to do with like my hormones and not being on birth control and from being on birth control for so long that i feel like it has to do with my body probably needs to detox from that pill or it just it needs a lot of work maybe i can have a better idea of what is causing my acne but right now i have no idea so today i made a green juice i haven't tried it yet i recorded everything so that i can show you all what i made what i bought what i put in my drink how i did it and it's right here i haven't tried it yet either i will show you my facial expression if it tastes good or not i hope so but I was doing so much research and I'm always doing research, but there's times where at nighttime before I'm going to go to bed, I like lay down and I'm on my phone and I start scrolling and I'm reading articles. I mainly do that because before I go to bed, I'm washing my face, I'm doing a face mask or I'm doing something with my face, you know, getting prepped to go to bed. and. A lot of the times it makes me so upset and sad that like, my God, why can't I just have clear skin? Why? <laughs> you know, like, it sucks. I mean, I guess it is who we are, but I really want to work on it. I really want to fix it this year. It is my biggest goal, pretty much. Well, I have other goals, but this is like a big one for me because if i'm going to be on camera a lot also i feel like i don't want to be wearing makeup all the time to cover up my marks i just want to show my skin off so right now i only have concealer on and i have mascara and lip gloss i don't have makeup on because i wanted to show you all like what it really was on my face and this is it now i just want to go over the green juice that i made i'm going to be drinking this green juice probably four days out of the week i'm not going to be able to do it every single day because 
work and life and i just feel like doing it every single day is not realistic so i will say four times i made a really big batch and i, I think i can do like three days out of that one batch so once I get the hang of it, I feel like if I continue it, I can do it two times a week and then maybe I can extend my days. But right now I'm not going to make it like so hard on myself. So I'm only going to do it for about four days a week. So let's get to it. I know I always ramble so much before I even get to the point. Let's talk about my smoothie that I just made. So let me tell you what's in here. So we have romaine lettuce we have spinach we have cucumbers lemon kiwi apple banana and i put coconut water instead of yogurt or any water i only put coconut water because i was reading how dairy can make my acne like inflame more because of the hormones that are in dairy so i might cut dairy off this smoothie was so easy to make i honestly just mixed up a whole bunch of different fruits and vegetables together and i came out with this i really hope it tastes good um it doesn't look like it tastes good but i hope it tastes good i hope let's go over what i did so first things first i sorted all my vegetables out and my fruit right once i got back home from the farmer's market put everything out looked at what i wanted to pick and just to put in my smoothie and then once i figured it out i organized everything else and then i started off with the romaine lettuce since it's so big i just did one whole thing of romaine lettuce i washed it and thank god i washed it because i feel like people don't always wash their vegetables and when i opened each like lettuce out or each side out I, it was like you can see dirt inside of it so i just washed through it with cold water rubbed it in and then i put it upside down so that the water can drain put it on top of the cutting board and i just chopped it up from the top i left the bottom pieces down i don't know it kind of like creep that part like kind of creeps me out even in like when i have regular salad i don't like to have the harder parts of the lettuce so I took some of it out, but I just chopped majority of it up and I threw it in the blender. Now, I'm sure you can see that the blender is like overfilled with lettuce. So I did blend it up a little bit so that I have room to put everything else. I put the rest of the lettuce inside of the blender and it brought down a lot. So now I have plenty of room to add the rest of my stuff now the spinach that i bought it already comes pre-washed i did not wash it again i usually when i'm cooking with spinach i'll just take it right out of the packet and cook it from there i didn't measure anything i just randomly put you know like my own measurements the next one that i did was apples i got a granny smith apple i washed it up i always like to wash it good because it's just sitting out there in the farmer's market and it you know it can have a whole bunch of things on it so I like to clean that one good sometimes I'll peel the skin off if I don't feel comfortable and I'll just chop it up I do have like an apple cutter so I use that it's always like a struggle to like cut with it but it, it works it's definitely helpful chop my apple up I did not peel it and I did not put the entire apple. I only put like half of it inside. I just felt like it would have been too much with the whole apple. And then now I added two bananas. I literally just opened them up. These I had sitting there for a while. So I just wanted to use, I didn't use the ones that I just bought. I used the ones that I had already there because they were going to go bad and they're going to get blended anyways and possibly like frozen next i got my cucumber cucumbers are my favorite but for some reason when i buy them from the farmer's market they always feel like greasy on top of it so i always peel them i'm sure the skin has so many benefits to it but i peel them just to be safe because i don't know what's on top of it and it just feels greasy and you know the cucumbers are always piled up on top of each other so i i peel it to feel safer i wash it and i still peel it because you never know and then i'll chop it up and put it in the blender 
Now the next thing that I put in is lemon. Lemon is supposed to be very good. Well, it is very good. It has a lot of vitamin C in it and it's good for acne, face masks, or even to lighten up blemishes. So I'm gonna start drinking lemon water also during the day. But in my smoothies, it's also going to be in there because I need as much fiber and vegetables and fruits and every single thing. I need to just take it in. My body needs it. It's like crying for it. Literally, it's like crying for it. You can like see it all over my face. So hopefully it helps. Let's see. The second to last thing that I added was kiwi. I love kiwi and I just love the, the soury, sweet taste to them. So I wanted to give this smoothie like a little kick. So I did add kiwi. I don't need to clean my kiwis. I just chop them up, take the side, the skin off and throw them in the blender. And lastly, the last thing that I added was my coconut water. I buy a whole bunch of different coconut waters. This one's like actually my favorite one though. I do not know the measurement. I just pour. I did not, I was gonna do half a cup of coconut water and I believe like about what I poured kind of was like a half a cup. So I just go with my best judgment. Then once I put every single thing in, then I start the blender. The blender is pretty full, but it's do the blender. It's a very strong blender. It's doing a great job. Now I'm sure you see that I have like pineapples and pear and ginger and a whole bunch of other stuff around what I picked. Like I said before, you can use, well, you can put whatever you want in your smoothies, mix it up, whatever you like. I meant to add flax seeds. I completely forgot. It's okay. I'll add it next time. But, you know, you can add berries to it. Anything, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, any fruit, vegetables. I do not own a juicer, so I was very impressed with how much liquid everything turned out to be but yeah so just you can add whatever you want to it and make it your own whatever you think is better for you that's what you should put like i did google smoothie recipes for acne and to clear skin and for hormonal acne and cystic acne but i just combined all of those videos that i saw and i just made my own one and you can do the same and i believe it's also very good for like weight loss or for even for energy because there's so much fiber in there and so many good things inside of this green smoothie so let me try it i'm excited but this is it it looks good it's not as liquidy as i thought kind of does look thick but it looks like a smoothie so let's see wow that's actually really good you guys i think i want to make this every day now you do not taste the lettuce you do not taste the spinach what I'm tasting right now is the bananas, maybe because I put two of them, but I taste the bananas and I'm tasting the apples and a tad bit of kiwi, but this is very good. And it's kind of warm because like I just went to the farmer's market and everything was like out and I didn't put everything in the refrigerator. I just started right away once I got home, but it probably tastes 10 times better cooler but it already tastes amazing. Like, I'm obsessed. I, I think I'm going to continue making these videos and put more stuff. Just imagine this with, like, oranges and ginger. Oh, my God. I'm excited. I'm about to drink this whole thing. So, yeah, guys. This is my green smoothie that I just made, possibly to help clear my skin up. I don't know, but I'm praying to God that this is it. I'm tired of using harsh products on my face. You know, just doing all these face masks and things that I feel like are not helping my face. Sometimes I feel like they make them even worse. I have such sensitive skin and it's to the point where I'm like, what is it? I have been eating clean. I have been eating all fresh produce, 
everything fresh and clean i have not been eating sugars maybe like once in a blue but it's i literally cut sugar and processed sugar cold turkey and i'm so happy that i did but i guess i'm realizing like the sugar is not even a problem with my face so i don't know what it is we're gonna figure it out but i have been eating very clean lots of like grass-fed beef and chicken and just a whole bunch of different healthier things that i have been doing this is a new one wow that's so good i'm gonna drink it all once i'm done so if you guys have any recommendations you know any smoothies that you want me to try or you know buy the stuff and make it i would love to do that if you have any questions you know about my acne or my birth control or the smoothie that i make or anything just comment let me know i really hope you enjoyed this video because i really enjoyed this smoothie it's very good i'm so excited so i hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching guys i will see you all next week and i hope you guys are pulling through with your goals and new habits and just making yourself happy doing things that are for you and only you not only only you but you know what i mean take care of yourself and stay positive